Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a top of the line Class A gas motorhome. This is a 2022 Fleetwood Southwind model 35K. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Southwind and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this top of the line gas motor home, the Southwind. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea. No, I'm sorry. I'm having to fill in for Andrea. Today. You're Brett Bam Moore. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. <laughs> Where are you from, Brett? Uh, my name is Brett Moore. Go by Bam. Uh, three Bretts at my store. I'm from the Utah store, Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, sir. And where are we at today? Uh, we are in Wyoming, the Gillette Show. Yes, FMCA. That's why we're surrounded by Fleetwood products. I really appreciate you filling in for Andrea. And we will have Brett's contact info later in this video if you live west of the Mississippi and you want to work with him. Brett, let's begin. Bam's your man. Ba oh, <laughs> Bam's your man. Model is 35K. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet 3 inches. This is the Fleetwood Southwind. It is their top of the line product. It is very similar to the Fleetwood Bounder, but there is some higher end features. A lot of it being chrome. Chrome headlights there. Collision mitigation standard. The chrome mirrors right here with cameras integrated to left side, right side, and reverse. Also down there, you'll see the chrome handles, and we'll show you that in a few minutes, okay? But there's a lot of chrome. The difference between a, what I like to tell people, the difference between a Bounder and a Southwind is the difference between a GMC Sierra SLT and a GMC Sierra Denali. Same quality unit, just one's a little bit of a higher trim. It does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Brett. They're the Michelins. 235-80R22.5. And we do have these shiny Alcoa rims. New for 2022, you have two options when it three options when it comes to suspension. One, the normal suspension. Two, this one has the optional sumo springs. Or three, you can now get liquid spring on as an option of your motorhome. And if you guys don't know what liquid spring is, that's this new awesome technology. And what it does is it bridges the gap between a gas motorhome and a diesel motorhome. If you guys saw my video from yesterday, check out my video from yesterday. Me, Will, and Jen actually test drove one of the liquid springs and you can now order it as an option on your motorhome. Really, really exciting. Coming on down the side here. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. As you can probably hear the wind, we're not gonna put it out. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And then here, we have an outside television, Sansui with sound bar. And then Brett, how do you like this full body paint? Oh, this paint is beautiful. It's got that new blue in it. What's the new blue? Amazing, beautiful, yeah. gorgeous. Isn't that your color though? Aren't it's you a Boise boy? State Aren't you Bo Boise State blue. That's Bronco blue. That's what I'm trying to get out of you, Brett. <laughs> Perfect. And then again, you got the chrome handles. This is chrome right here. And your propane quick connect, disconnect switch, aluminum slam latch doors. Really nice storage right there. And Brett, we gotta hurry up because the storm's coming. Wind's blowing. And then look at that, nice storage. Pass through across the top there, you get about a foot or so across the top. Right? Perfect, and right there is a leash to tie up your pet. Tether that puppy. Right here, we do have a water heater right here, and I love how they continued that paint job. Coming down the side here is going to be your propane tank. And Brett, right here, bing, that's where I'll Oh, no, it's, it's imaginary. Oh. Bing. <laughs> That's where all the specs are, the lengths, widths, everything about this motorhome. Right there. Rookie move. Yes. Right over here, we do got a little bit more storage. 
Oh, pass through across the top there as well. Yep. And then coming around the back, a little more storage. We've got our ladder right here. And then Brett, tell us a little bit about the hitch back here. So right back here, you guys have got your 5,000 pound hitch. Okay. And uh, you're already seven way plug set up to tow your vehicle or if you want to tow your side by side, Utah, lots of side by sides. Yeah, yeah, and it can tow a true 5,000 pounds. Fuel fill up in the rear right here. Uh, backup camera right there. Again, with the chrome accents right here. And Brett, why the heck is it? Oh, we got the leveling jacks down. Real high. I don't think I'll be able to climb up this. Nope. <laughs> oh, geez. We will not be able to go up on I'll the I'll climb today. up if you want. You got it, Brett? <laughs> I could climb up there. You, you, you. Oh, got it. I think. Yeah. yeah, Brett. Here's the camera. Go on up there and show us what's going on there. All right. So up top, we got the uh, Max Air vent covers. We've got your 300 watts of solar, part of your uh, technology package. And you also have got two ACs, as well as your Wi-Fi extender up here, Coleman Mox. And of course, on top, you've got your nice one piece on the roof coming back down we'll say hi to mr matt again well matt's rv reviews first and you have to say <laughs> make sure you smash that thumbs up button make sure you smash that thumbs up button what other rv salesmen will take well, i didn't get to take my friend <laughs> great you're still on the show you're still on the show and it wasn't because i'm portly it was the leg height it was the leg height real high Right over here, 50 amp power cord reel standard with the surge guard protecting standard. You can get that on the bounder, but that is the option. Right over here, Onan 5500 generator. Option for a 7000. Right over here, we got more stuff. Uh, low point valves, place to dump your black and gray tank, outdoor shower, water filtration system. Very nice. Now, Brett, why would somebody want a 7,000 generator? If they choose to uh, have more than more than two ACs up there. Okay. That, that'd be one reason. What would be another reason, man? Uh, right there. So, from my understanding, I'm not too much of an expert on it, but supposedly with two 5,500 generators, you're running at a higher capacity, running everything at one time. Like like 5500 you're kind of maxed out with like a 7000 generator it's not taking the generator as much energy to keep the motorhome running who knows if that's true you guys can comment below and let us know very nice other side of that pass through guys tons and tons of storage Very nice. And again, notice those chrome handles. That's uh, a lot of people like that. A lot of people like to know they've got not just the look, but the durability of that. Yes, right here's your portable water fill. And then this, the other side. Well, Brett, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Take a look at the inside, brother. Get on in. Oh. Absolutely beautiful in here. Now, because we're at the show, we're, we're not going to have it slid in and everything. And we are kind of on a time crunch. But, Brett, let's get started. You show us what's going on in the cockpit area. All right. So, up in the cockpit area, we've got... Uh... Sit down. Sit down. Right. Enjoy. <laughs> As, as you know, one of the th one of the biggest things that people complained about on that old that old V10, people hated the 1980 steering wheel. Yes. Yeah. So this has got that updated steering wheel. Got some controls up here, um, and then over here, uh, you've got your, uh, of course, your touchscreen. 
nice big touch screen right there and something that Matt is in front of that a lot of people care about. Yes, right over here is the new dash, right? Not the new dash, the new work table tray. We love this. This is so nice. We just did a Bounder 33C and everybody was raving about this. One thing I would like to comment on is there's a cup holder here, plenty of leg space. Oh, look at that. There's even some storage behind this console right here. Very nice. And something that we didn't like, we didn't like that they took away that camera there in place of this one, but you still have that camera there, you're auto leveling, and everything is super, super nice. Well, what they like is people like to be able to have the, the camera separate from the radio so that they don't have to interrupt each other. Yes, yes, for sure. If you uh, turn the engine off, we're gonna wanna drop this bunk over the cab. Oh, perfect. Susie, so, right. talk to us. All right, so on this bunk right here, uh, a lot of people would call it a queen, not a full-size queen, um, but what's what's awesome is it's 500 pound capacity. Yeah. So uh, people, people love that you can actually fit two adults up there. Yeah, for sure. You got your TV up there, little nooks and crannies. 500 pounds which is very nice and there's speakers right there something that people don't talk about is the the tiki uh the teak slats underneath okay to give it a more comfortable fit now what does that mean what does that do it just gives a little bit of suspension under there kind of okay. like a like a box spring perfect perfect and then over here in the dinette area we have a nice table and chair right there yeah and then look at what they're doing right here this is so nice and everything texture yes we have our cabinetry right here. Okay, nice slide out drawers. This is more of like a pantry for the kitchen area. Okay, we do have nice. Look how deep that is. Yes. And Fleetwood, they, they do line these. So, so many of these coaches are gonna be just wood or, or laminate or whatever in there. It's just gonna, everything's gonna slide everywhere. And then we got <laughs> the, the MCD, slow rise shades, daytime shades. And then this, this has the optional table and chairs. I personally love the booth. I love the way Fleetwood does their booth, but this one does give you the option. It pulls out right here. Okay. Well, Matt, I got to tell you, some people, they, they, they prefer the table and chairs. Yes. Because I see a lot of customers that are worried about their belly in the booth. Yes. Like me. <laughs> yes. So it's big boy approved for sure, because you can put the table, you know, you can put this all the way out and you know all the way up add the leaf grab the other two chairs that are i think they're stored back there in the closet perfect so you've got room for four and you ain't got to worry about anybody's belly yep yep for sure and then right over here in the living room area very nice theater seats huge storage above again all the way through which is very nice and then look at these optional theater seats what's real nice about it is that they recline. Oh yeah, so they're real nice. Look at that light balance up there. Yep. That's something new they added, added a little bit of texture to the to the unit. Yep. And then the sofa is directly across from the entertainment center. You got your TV there, your Sam Sui TV sound bar with a fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. I, I love talking about that fireplace because everybody's always thinking, oh, that's such a waste, it's just lights. No, it is actually a functional furnace, 50, I think it's 5300 BTU furnace. Okay. And that's gonna, if you're plugged in somewhere, you don't wanna uh, waste propane if you've got propane on your coach. Those are very nice to take off that chill. I've heard they'll, they'll heat the coach quite well. Perfect, perfect. Well, bam, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay, I told him to do that. I told him to do that. MSRP on this motorhome. Oh, pay him, pay him right in the middle, right in the middle. My bad. No, because I show the thing invisibly. No, no, just keep me in the middle. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $237,855. Bam. MSRP. Sale price, do you see a sale price listed right there, Bam? I do not. No, because we're not allowed to advertise sale price because the way the RV industry right now is, this unit was just built and this unit in six months is gonna be priced different. But, Bam, we are not selling this for $237,000. We're giving everybody a lot better price than that. 
And if somebody wants to get the best price, do you know what they should do? They should get on Matt's cash. No, they should call, text, email, or FaceTime. 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome, click tab number one. You're going to get your Matt cash and somebody from my team will get you the best price. If you have questions about this motorhome, click tab number two. That sends an email to me and I'll answer you within 24 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. Or if you're in the Salt Lake City area or anywhere west of the Mississippi, Brett, how do people get in contact with you? All right, you guys, I've got a couple ways, but the biggest, uh, easiest is going to be my cell. Call or text or FaceTime me at 208. 284-5178. Perfect. That's the best way. And throw your email up there as well. Uh, email is going to be bmore, B-M-O-O-R-E, at generalrv.com. Perfect. You guys, we really appreciate him helping out with this video. And uh, so if you're in the Salt Lake City area or west of Mississippi, give him a call and he'll give you a fantastic price. I'm your west side guy. He's on my west side guy. Yep. Brett, let's continue. Show us this kitchen area. All right, so in the kitchen, you've got a nice, real, a nice chrome uh, faucet right there. Yeah, let's start up top and then work our way down. Okay. All Perfect. Right. Up top, you do have uh, you do have the, the, the glass and the, and the hardwood covered doors. Yes. Again, you've got um, adjustable shelves, so you can, you know, if you've got cereal, however you need whatever height, you can adjust those. And uh, again, you've got that, that belt line that's going to really keep your stuff from sliding around. For sure. And then uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right step moving down yes we've got real tile backsplash guys look at that that's that's not stickers no are no we, are we seeing stickers no 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 we're in a south one yeah no yeah we there there is some units where you see stickers in them okay so one thing that they really love is back here it is it's got that felt line again people are loving this for all their spices yes or, or herbs I, I've got some people that are saying they are growing their own basil and you know things like that okay and, and putting it back there look at that window it's, isn't it nice how big it is oh it used to be that this was all just blacked out it was just a wall yep now you've got all that natural light coming in if you've got your plants throw some plants in there if you've got your spices throw your spices in there yep show us that sink right there okay so in the sink we've uh, we've got your uh, your your two bowl sink right there. Yep. Washing one, drying another. Solid surface, so you can actually have the extra countertop when you're not using that sink. Perfect. Um, on the faucet, you do have that uh, that pull down sprayer, which is uh, going to be handy. Get those dishes clean. Yep. And then we got storage underneath here. Yep. Again, adjustable shelves. And they're metal. A lot of times these are plastic, so that's going to be a lot more stable for you, or durable rather. Under here, you've got a spot for your garbage can. Yep. Everybody's like, "Where's the garbage can going to go?" We got a spot for that. There you go. And then that's a little sponge rack there. Sponge rack there, and then uh, my understanding is these are it's about a 12 pound pull on that, so you don't want all your stuff flying out. So that's going to be really nice to keep the drawers from flying out around those tor those turns. All y'all got a probably a husband or a wife that's a crazy driver, so yes, yes. check that. And again, another one great for great for pans right here. For sure. Great for light, sure. depth. Induction cooktop right there. Really nice, no propane. It shows that microwave convection up, brother. Alright, so you got a residential size microwave right here, guys. Uh, it's also it is the convection oven. Everything's kind of going away from the oven. People would rather have storage but still have the ability to do baking in the convection. Yeah, yeah. You notice it's the convection when you've got the metal inside. Yep. And a little bit of storage above there. Yep. So right up here, as well as an extra plug, uh, you've got the plug down here for your coffee maker. So many people are wondering how they're going to get their, their, their latte, everything like that. Perfect. And then wrapping up the kitchen with a huge refrigerator. And he means huge. Show us. So this is Samsung. Now everybody loves these locks. Okay, so I, I keep hearing people saying, you know what, I don't have a lock on mine. I turned a corner, all my food on the floor. Oh yeah. Okay, so you've got you've got your nice locks there, double door refrigerator. Wow. Full size, residential, a lot of space. And uh, space to keep all your vegetables crisp. And then on the bottom, there is another lock there. Yes. But ice maker, guys. Yes, huge. You gotta keep it cool. It's been over 100 degrees almost every day here. Yeah, I know, right? It's like. 
Why do people live in Wyoming? It, it, it was hotter in Wyoming than it was in Florida. It's it's hot and, and uh, not as much not as much to see out here. Perfect. <laughs> Half bathroom right here. Very nice big medicine cabinet. Nice sink right there. Storage underneath there and a drawer there. And then right up here, more storage. And then here we do got a porcelain toilet. Oh, does it have the? Does it got your peas? It does not. Oh. And this one does not, and it happened last time as well. This wall just hugs a little too tight. It does not get it. But I'm not upset about it. This is just a half bath. We will see the final verdict in the master bathroom. This one is for the non-paying customers. Forgot to mention. We do have this on that side as well, right next to the theater seats. Okay, in the bedroom. Nice king size bed. Look at that back headboard. Very nice. Ladder for the bunk over the cab. Okay. Storage up here. You Ooh, know what? You see that auto light? Yeah, what's that for, Brett? Hey, you got your you've got your auto light up there and I Oh, you don't know? I got a Oh, we're about to teach you. Teach me. Uh, you put a CPAP machine there. I was looking for a hole. Yeah, no, no, it's right here. Ah. Yeah. yeah, you put your CPAP machine there. You got the plug there so you can store your CPAP. Very cool. Windows on both sides, which I love. And as Brett said, there is storage under the bed where they keep the spare chairs. And or where they should be. That's, that's where you've got your table. That will actually go over there in the front between the two captain's chairs. Yes. And then right over here, there's the two chairs. There they are. And do you know how much a trash can it is? That's a hundred and four dollar trash can. <laughs> hey, this is your secret storage. Yes. You'd be surprised how many people uh, have no idea that that opens up. Absolutely. We got more drawers here, more drawers there. Not a storage compartment there. That one door is, but that one isn't. And then over here, very nice. Yes. And then this is prepped for a combo washer and dryer. You got the full wall back there where all the plumbing is, right? Yep. Okay. So there's the chair. Yeah. And then a little bit more storage there. And then finishing up, wow, this is huge. This is a nice one piece fiberglass shower. Plenty of width, plenty of depth. I got the height, I got everything about this shower right here. It is super, super nice. I don't think you would have fit without that skylight. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank goodness for the skylight. We got this right here. Storage, drawers, drawers, nice little sink medicine cabinet. Let me show everybody. Okay. And then, yeah, you see this, no contact. Talk to me, Goose. Little tight. Not the biggest master bathroom, but I feel like they made that shower better. But it's not about it. Doesn't matter if you pass by an inch or a mile. This is a prime pooping position. Ding! <laughs> bam, 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 bam! <laughs> well, Brad, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we're going to give you three things we love about the South Wind and three things we don't like about it. Brett, what should we do first? I think we should do three things that we don't like first. Okay, okay. I have one right off the bat. First thing I do not like about this motorhome, I personally don't like them putting the screen there. At least, I like the screen right there that was in the cockpit area. From my understanding, a lot of people are putting their cell phones there for yes. navigation. Still, I did like the dual screens, that's how I feel. Well, and that, for the for as far as the navigation goes, that yeah. is where their phone's gonna go yep. plug in there and then it'll do that Apple CarPlay. Right, 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 for sure, for sure. So that's number one. Number two, Brett. I do not like the carpet underneath the dinette. Uh, yeah. Never have been a fan, never will be a fan. Little stuff like this does go away over time. It's just frustrating to me. And the way I eat food, I would definitely drop a tater tot with ketchup on it on the carpet. And with all this white in here, Andre would definitely kill me. So that's number two dislike. And then Brett, do you have a third dislike? Uh, the third dislike, I would, uh, I would have to say, gosh, man, it's, it's hard. It's tough. It's hard. I, I don't. I think you'd have to pick it for me. Okay. Um, hmm, hold that. See, the, it just makes it so tough. Because it is one of my favorite motorhomes. Mm. 
I said this once, and you know what? I'm gonna say it Maybe again. Maybe we'll talk about the not not prime pooping position in the half down. <sighs> no, because it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't pass, but it didn't fail. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say the combo washer dryer, uh, and, yeah. and here's what I mean. Um, I feel like the the difference between and, and this is gonna be interesting. The difference between Bounder 35K and Southwind 35K, there's not too many differences, um, but a Southwind is a bit more money than the Bounder. I think it would have been better to make uh, different separations between the brand if they made the stackable and the Southwind the higher end, and then the combo and the Bounder, just for different brand identity. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I'm gonna go first. Love, love, love this huge one-piece fiberglass shower. It is great, it's fantastic. The size, the length, the width, the depth, everything about that shower is absolutely fantastic. Bench, lake shaving shelf. What? That lake shaving shelf. What's that mean? This thing right here. I, I hear people like, well, I got nowhere to shave my legs. You put your foot right up there. There you go. <laughs> you got them all. Keep on going for us. All right. Give us a like. All right, something I love about this coach, I love the theater seating across from the TV. Yes. Okay, everybody complains. There's so many of them have the TV right there and they have to sit cockeyed with their neck like that. You can sit here, kick your feet up, have the fire on, watch your show. I love that aspect as well. Check out all that storage down there. Man, on, remote down holder, there. cup holders. I'm flustered there are blankets today. in there. Dude, I, I forgot to even mention that. That is amazing. So that's number two. And then do you have a number third? Uh, a, a number third yes. would be the hide -a I, I, I think that Okay, that first, that's a first. Why yeah. do you like that so much? I love the hide -a because so many people come in and they say, where am I gonna sleep? If I have company or kids with me, where are they gonna sleep? I love this hide -a big bed, 500 pound capacity. Uh, and then it stays out of the way when when you aren't, uh, when you don't need it. A lot of people don't even notice it's there. It's Perfect. The hide well, that's it, Brett. That's the review. Oh, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell, but the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a top of the line Class A gas motorhome that competes with this one, we're gonna put its competitors right there and there. Brett, is there anything you want to say to everybody? I just want to say thank you, Matt. It's awesome. I finally got to do a review. With you. Yes, I've yes. I've been asking you about it for a while. Now. Well, yeah, no, 100%. And when, when I was recording in Salt Lake City, you weren't there that day. But I'm glad we're here in Wyoming and you got to do it with us. Beautiful Wyoming, rolling hills, lots of nice people. What else do you want to tell America? Okay, America, I want to say, hey, I am the West Coast connection over here. All yes. Right? So you want it, you want Matt's connection, but on the West Coast, I'm his guy over here, I'm his partner over here. Uh, please reach out to me, 208-284-5178. Live in Utah, Idaho phone number, stay true to my Idaho pride. Yes, yes. And email, right? Yes, no, we got that, it shows up on the screen. Right. And again, Brett is a part of my team, he's my West Coast guy, um, and he's gonna make sure you guys get the absolute best price in America, and he's gonna make sure you get that Matt cash. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Brett, we'll see you next time. Bam, ba, ba, bam, bam, <laughs> bam. I love it. <laughs>